So for me, I find it really interesting the way that my blog and my podcast have connected to my academic writing and my teaching. Um, and I didn't really expect them to connect. I didn't really expect them to overlap as they have. Um, and it's surprising, but actually really exciting for me that they connect and they overlap. Um, I also didn't expect people to who watch the podcast to really be interested in anything other than my knitting, but they actually have been interested in the connections that I make between my knitting, um, social media, my academic work, and my teaching. So that's been really exciting for me as well. Um, people regularly comment in my on the Ravelry board um, about what I'm knitting, but they also comment about the other content on my show. They comment about the things that I'm teaching or the academic concepts that I'm thinking about. So I find that really exciting. Like the knitting projects that I do, this kind of interaction around my academic work really inspires me to engage in academic projects. Like this one. Um, I, I feel so excited to tell, you know, the academic community about Ravelry and my knitting and how it's a part of my life. Um, it helps me, this kind of work, these kinds of connections people make to what we do as academics, um, it helps me feel part of the community. When I write and talk, when I write about or when I talk about what I'm teaching or what academic concepts I'm thinking about on my blog, um, in addition to helping me feel, feel connected to others, it helps me feel connected more deeply to those concepts and to understand them in a different way. Um, to understand them, I, I, can't, I can't think of any language that feels more right in this case than depth. It's just a different kind of depth, a different kind of approach, a different way of thinking about it. Um, so, for example, the first mortarboard moment segment I ever recorded on the show, um, I recorded over the summer. I was reading Clay Sharkey's book, Here Comes Everybody, uh, for writing across media that I was going to teach the following fall. And so the theories that I was reading in the book about social media, I was really connecting them to my literate activity um, in really important ways, and I felt like I really wanted to share that. Um, I was connecting them to the literate activity that I engage in around knitting. So I really felt like I wanted to share that on my podcast. Um, so I wrote up the segment, and when I wrote about the segment, or when I wrote up the segment, I really understood those connections in a different way. Um, I understood those connections between these things that I wouldn't normally connect together, which, you know, is knitting and social media and academic writing. Um, I wouldn't think of those things as connected, but from what Shirky was saying, from my own experience, um, you know, I might have made those connections without the podcast, but I don't think I would have thought about them or dwelled on them as much if I wasn't writing about them, if I wasn't trying to deliver and share that information with an audience that's not necessarily made up of academics. Um, so it helped me think about it. You know, there's that kind of old adage that if you teach something, you learn it. <laughs> um, and I think that's true in a lot of ways. And I think my podcast really makes that true for me on a regular basis. Um, it makes the connections even more meaningful to me as well. Um, it, it gives me this kind of reason outside of, you know, my job, outside of wanting to be good at my job. It gives me this other reason to do academic work. Um, it gives me another reason to connect my life, my writing, um, theory in ways that I feel like can be important and meaningful to other people as well. And that just makes that kind of work more meaningful to me and important to me.